What's up guys, I'm Will Knopfsinger with Dennis and Yachting and today we're here at the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show trying to get this video done. It's going to be a little bit loud, some distractions in the background. Appreciate you bearing with us to check out this awesome 94 foot custom line. It's built by Ferretti, 2001, really impressive condition, tons of upgrades, loved and cared for just two owners over the whole course of her life. This guy bought it about five years ago, did a ton of nice stuff to it. On Deck Master Beach Club. Looking forward to getting you guys on board, checking this thing out. Let's get started. This is very unique for a, a yacht like this. You've got a, a real beach club with a garage. You can put a jet ski, you can put a jet tender, great space. There's also some spare props in there and it leads us into the engine room and we're gonna head there next and we're gonna sit with Captain Addison and go over some of the specifics about this yacht because there is a lot that's been done. So we're just forward of Will from the Beach Club. Now we're in the engine room. This boat's powered by a pair of MTU 16V2000 M91s, 1800 horsepower a piece. The port motor has 2,560 hours and the starboard motor has 2,561 hours. The 2,000 hour service has been completed and we went way above and beyond on that. Not just cleaning the injectors, we replaced all the injectors. We didn't just clean the inner cooler and the after cooler, we replaced the inner cooler and the after cooler. We've also gone above and beyond on all the services outside of the engines. The generators themselves have been serviced, they're up to date. The stabilizer service, that's been up to date. The bow and stern thruster, they are hydraulic and the services have been up to date. We also increased the air conditioner and air compressor capacity, so we're above what the standard is from any Ferretti custom line from this era. The boat tops out around 23 knots, which is very impressive for a 94 foot boat, especially a boat from the early 2000s. In general, we cruise around nine to 12 knots. That's a slow cruise, mostly called a semi-displacement. It's more fuel economy, but it's also more comfortable. Uh, a fast cruise would be something around 18. At 18 knots, our range is about 360 miles. When we slow it down, nine to 11 knots, we get over 700 miles of range. Step up to the aft deck of Dream Chaser, and we've got the things you would expect to find, a really nice teak table. This is where you're gonna do all your formal outdoor dining for the most part. It's the largest exterior table. We've got our stairs up to the flybridge. Sink and some features that you wouldn't expect to find, most notably a day head here. Another really nice feature on board in this aft deck is a stainless steel line drink box, really conveniently located. We've got our cap stands and everything for docking located underneath these hatches. It's nice to have those tucked away and not an eyesore. All the entertainment you could ever want, nice flat screen TV, Back down station located just behind that. And then overhead, everything on this boat is LED and has been made smart. So the captain has an app where he can shut the entire boat down at the push of a button. Cruise up to the bow. So we've got our two hydraulic windlasses anchors to each side, huge storage hatch. You've got a dab in there. Initially it was designed so you could put little stand-up jet skis back when this boat was built, but now it's great for sea bobs or anything else. You got the use of the davit, so heavy items aren't a problem. Our teak decks were replaced and they were done at 16 millimeters, so they're super thick still and you got plenty of life left. Let's head back. And we just talked about some details so check out those details. We've got carbon fiber hinges to replace the stainless steel ones that were needing to be replaced. That is something you don't find every day. Coming up to the flybridge on Dream Chaser, and it's a pretty spectacular flybridge. Got a hot tub here, that's probably the primary feature. Little lounge area that surrounds it. And all the way aft, we got a davit, stores a tender up top side if you'd like to have another jet ski. There's about enough space for one of those. We do have sunshade in the form of an awning attaches to these carbon fiber poles. 
That brings us up here to kind of the eating, entertaining area of the Flybridge. Perfectly located across from all the service area. You've got your grill, refrigeration, sink, ice maker, kind of hang up here and not have to leave this space. Moving further forward in the fly, we've got our helm. It's a really nice helm. Everything tucks away. Your brand new garment displays stay nice, clean. All of the gauges you need to be able to run this boat properly, right at your hands. Cool place to drive the boat when you're doing 20 plus knots on a yacht this size. It's pretty spectacular. Most boats aren't gonna accomplish that in this range. pretty loud out there at the show and it's really nice to walk into something, shut the door and have a peaceful, relaxing experience, which is exactly what you get aboard Dream Chaser. Aft in this area, we've got our bar. This is great for servicing in here and the exterior. We've got an ice maker here. Just in front of that, we've got our drop down smart TV. Again, everything throughout the boat, as far as audio visual goes, is updated since 2018. Over here on the port side, We've got our U-shaped seating that faces that TV. It's a really nice space. You can actually fit a lot of guests here. We're gonna head forward up to the dinette, which is connected directly with this space, making everything feel bigger, whether you're in the dining area or the salon itself. It's been updated with a new glass tabletop, nice feel, and most importantly, you've got access to the galley on both port and starboard side, making service way easier for your stew. So this is the secondary access into the galley. It's an L shape. We just passed a couple of Bosch refrigerators and freezers, so those are secondary. And we've got our fridge here, stovetop, real oven, microwave, all the things you're gonna need to prepare for a meal on board this yacht. All appliances were replaced since 2018 with this refrigerator actually being about seven days old. Direct access to the crew quarters. Exiting the galley, we come into the main foyer and we're gonna take these stairs down to check out the lower accommodations after we check out this awesome master. And as you walk forward, you've got your important day head here. Very comparable to the secondary master stateroom, which is located below decks. This, something pretty special. You've got big windows, you've got new mattresses, new carpeting to port, we've got our vanity, We've got a bunch of storage, a secondary closet, and you continue around. A little more storage here in this credenza, the nice flat screen TV, and then a huge walk-in. With large ensuite. So leaving the on-deck master, we're gonna cruise down these stairs and check out the lower accommodations. Over here on the starboard side, we've got the first of the guest staterooms. This one features that side-by-side -side configuration with a Pullman. We've got tons of storage underneath and a huge walk-in closet behind me. And then aft of me, you've got an ensuite. Stepping over here on the port side, we've got a mirror image stateroom, except we've got a full-size berth as opposed to the side-by-sides, and we've got our Pullman still. Everything down here was also redone, new carpeting, nice electric blinds, push of a button, it goes dark. New smart TVs throughout so your guests are always gonna feel comfortable and enjoy themselves while aboard. So we're heading aft into the largest of the staterooms on this vessel, and it's technically the master or alternate master because you do have the on deck that we just saw before. But this is the most spacious, it's a full beam, it's in a really comfortable point on the vessel. If you were to be in a charter program, this would benefit you tremendously to have two master staterooms with large en suites. On the port side, we've got our makeup vanity and a huge walk-in closet. The TV's behind me on the wall. We'll continue back to the starboard. You've got your little seating area and then entrance into a very large head for the size of this boat. 
So here we are on the pilot house. From here we have controls for basically everything on board. This whole thing has been updated and revised based on the fact that technology has changed in the last 20 years. Pulling away from dock or even pulling into dock, it's very simple. You start on one end and you work your way to the other. All the buttons are in order and what you need to use them in. You also have a nice sofa that you can sit down here or have your mate, stew, or chef with you on long voyages to keep you company or to change off shifts. And the air conditioners in this room are unreal. They are upgraded from the original Mediterranean spec. It actually stays cool in here, which is difficult considering how much glass we have all around. So I've been on board this vessel for about three and a half years. Uh, started in March of 19. Since then, we've gone through a lot of upgrades and changes, and uh, the owner and I have a very good understanding of how this boat needs to be maintained. Generally, my budget is whatever needs to be fixed is fixed. We, we don't need to discuss every single item. Overall, I fix what I need to, and therefore, the boat is in almost mint condition. It would be basically a brand new 2001. Thanks for joining us on board Motor Yacht Dream Chaser. It's a 94 foot, custom line built in 2001 and I appreciate you guys dealing with all the background noise going on Saturday night of the boat show we got a party to get to so we got to end this video but thank you again and if you have any questions at all you can contact me or my wife Carrie anytime we'd love to get you on board